It doesn't matter what your profession is. That nun had an attitude problem. But of course, we do wish her a very speedy recovery. And, um, you know, things got out of hand. There's cum in my bum. Welcome to episode number three of the Martin Michael Fully Action Podcast, season two. This is our 43rd episode in total. Third episode on of season the two. season. And let me just go ahead and say, Matt? Yes. He has his own mic now. That's how we upgraded with the green screen, own mic. We've got new shit here. There's dicks. There's balls that grow from our sweetheart that sent this last week. What do you mean, What's green screen? This is, we're in a field. No, no, let's be, I want to be in an orphanage. Or space. Either or. Connor, you decide. Connor? Maybe mix it, mix it like half space, half orphanage. Maybe throw in some, like, desert. Maybe a spacey orphanage. Like Maybe a, an orphanage a in piggery. space. A piggery? We could be at a piggery. Or well, there could be uh, Jesus with the 11 to 12 disciples we behind have, us. Yeah, yeah, the fucking, him hanging, not hanging, nailed up. We could have, we could be at uh, 7-Eleven. We could be working at 7-Eleven, maybe. We could be dog breeders. We could be shit talk. Here we go. How was your weekend? Oh, my weekend was very well, thank you. I've been laying off the bloody, uh, the everything, just because um, I felt quite fucked. So I haven't touched shit Out, for a while. Eight days, a, right? No alcohol? Yeah, and had a very pretty boring uh, weekend, to be honest. But um, no, nah, Sunday was all right. But no, nothing, no crazy stories or anything. Just a bit of recovery. You know what I mean? A bit of R&R. What does R&R even mean? Rest and recovery? No, recovery and rest. Oh, recovery and rest. Matt, mm. can you uh, just double check that for us? R&R? What does R&R stand Ooh, for? Yeah. Yeah. His voice nice and clearly now. Yeah. Instead of the background shit, <laughs> wearing a wholesome shirt. Yeah, wholesome. Mm. W-H-O-L-E-S-U-M. Wholesome. Ha <laughs> Oh, I got a burp coming. <laughs> yeah, I'm finished. Well, the first thing that came up is uh, rock and roll. See? But bear with me. You weren't doing that last weekend. Well, it depends what rock and roll means. I was being rock and roll, man. What did you do? I had surprisingly a mate's 30th come up. So I dropped everything. I got a hotel room. You got four bags of cocaine? <laughs> I'm not going to say I didn't. I'm because not going to say did. I didn't. You got did. four bags of cocaine and some MDMA and you took I it. I shared it around because it was my friend's 30th. So I fucking shouted... The boys, as they say. <laughs> the boys. <laughs> they do say that. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, it got to just... At one point, I had a fan come up and couldn't believe. He just kept saying, are you really Michael from Marty and Michael? And I was just trying to impress my friend Henry and make him laugh. So I just kept trying to hook up with him. And he hated it. But like, just still obviously thought I might have been Michael from Marty and Michael. So he was, trying, he was just putting up with it. And then I sexually assaulted him. Not physically, just... What's it called when they just see it? Uh, they witnessed a sexual assault. <laughs> yeah, you witnessed sexual assault. Yeah, so I started just showing him my asshole and telling him, and he kept trying to, are you really Michael from Marty and Michael? And then I just kept saying, I want your willy in my bum bum. And I'd repeat that over and over while he'd see the inside of me. And of course, uh, he has press charges and Michael is under investigation. And this uh, admission of for what he's done now will be used in court, I would say. Oh, man, I've got a good lawyer. I'll be right. Nigel Munt. Nigel Munt. If you have had a car or work accident, <laughs> sign up to our website. Yes. So, a bit of both in that. And, um, yeah, then, yeah, we went to kick ons with a fucking legend, Charles, if you listen to this. It was such a good time. Fucking Charles, we did boy. more so, like Panadols there. And then, yeah, we were speaking till 8 a.m. and came down and booked our Uber. And then, cyclists were riding past, and I'd make eye contact with them as they were riding past. And I'd just hold eye contact as I was flipping them off. And it made Henry laugh. So and that was funny. Very, you sexually assaulted people and you was tried quite to offend as many people as possible. No, it was like three. Three people. So I have the definition of r and if you guys are ready for it. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're ready. All right. So r and is a military slang uh, for rest and recuperation. But Fucking we were, hell. We but close. This has also been tweaked by other militaries for rest and relaxation. Oh. Uh, rest and recreation. <laughs> um, it's a term used for the free time of a soldier or international UN staff serving in an unaccompanied duty station. Oh, <laughs> I hate him since we got him a mic. 
<laughs> you asshole! <laughs> Oh, Ooh. fucking cunt. That's my tape. Don't. We need it for the green screen. Uh, no, the green screen's already stuck now. Look what yeah, I did. I'm moving it after. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's wow. not often you can... Oh, you're going to hurt me. Okay, good. Um, Do we have a science experiment for everyone whoa, later in the show? Whoa, whoa, we whoa, have whoa, whoa, whoa. Prank... Now Domino's is over, as you know. We've got our fucking new prank calls we, where we... we, got- we- Get you guys to send the backstories in, and we call your friends or family, and we fuck with them. So this time we got about we got like ten prank calls Ooh. in the bank. So hopefully one someone answers with ten backstories as well. So we got the prank call, we got science time, we got question time, we got PO unboxing, and fucking Wait, we got, of course we've got on this day. And Matt from Wholesome has done a bit of research here and found out some very historical events that occurred on this day in the past. Okay, on this day in 1862, King George was molested for the first time. <laughs> Who was he? In, in, on, on this day in 1862, heaps of people died because they were stabbed. So that happened in 1862, and of course our thoughts and prayers are with those affected by that. Well, it's so not... Big gr- group of people. It doesn't really say much else, but it, Matt's just sent me this. It just says heaps of people died because they were stabbed. So there's not much more information, but I'm assuming it's not like a good thing. You know what there I mean? would have been because most days people get stabbed. All so right, I believe yeah. that one. Yep. Yeah. Heaps of people were stabbed. Oh, okay. Like a lot. 10 to 20. On this day in 1999, reindeer turned on Santa and beat him within an inch of his life. Santa, of course, later had to have them all put down and now uses drones to deliver gifts. Wow. So that happened in 1999. That was, that was 21 years there ago. There weren't drones back then. Oh, wait. Now, now he's got powers. Now he, Santa actually invented the drone. But he kept it to himself in the North Pole. They were first called electronic flying reindeer, but he's now changed it to drone because... Uh, he can market had, it better. Well, he's had brain injuries. Oh, from the beating. Yeah. Well, there you go. On this day in 1971, Michael was conceived when his father passionately fucked his mother and they were too drunk to use a condom. Michael's mum was pregnant for 20 years before he slithered out. (laughs) So that was on this day. In 1971, wow, <laughs> historical. So I've been, I was in fucking like the oven for 20 years. Yeah, Michael came out looking like this. <laughs> yeah, I've always said, I'm so glad I was never a kid. He came out walking, talking, and he was already on Centrelink when he came out. <laughs> on this day in 1952, wind started. <laughs> That's why you've said that before. I don't think so. Well, maybe it's been on this day last year. Oh, you would have just said to me because we didn't have the podcast. I see, I see, I see. So, yeah, wind in 1952 is only, what, 70, nearly How was it made? How did did it start up? Apparently, it just just started. Some dude was called uh, Darren Wind was standing there and, and felt like air coming towards him. And he was like, that's wind. What the fuck is that? That's That's wind. Oh, okay. And then he sort of named so it after his last name. So maybe it had been seen before, but people couldn't wait make it out, so they didn't name it. As soon as you name something, well, then I think it's... I think that's the first time anyone's ever experienced it because then other people are like, "What the hell is that?" And then they would have named it. But Darren Wind was the first person in Perth. Actually, he was on fucking Dazza. He was on a cliff, and uh, he felt like this this stuff like running into him, and he was like, "What the? F- that feels like air moving into me. That's wind." Wow. So there you go. That's fu- Wow. You know and then some from then shit, on, man. it just sort of, yeah, wind is now, it's everywhere. Like you walk outside, a bit of wind, you know, whether it be a small amount of breeze or a little cross ventilation if you've got two windows open in the house. Wind is everywhere. So quite a, quite a historical day if you ask me. What was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for our first segment. <laughs> Matt's renamed it. He's renamed the segment this week. Uh, and he's renamed it to <laughs> And basically it's just a Whoa. segment where we answer questions that you guys have written in. First question is from underscore Aiden underscore McCormack underscore. And he has asked 
who can withstand more pain between you two? Um, <clears throat> now, I think it depends on the sort. Of yeah, pain. it's it's it depends. But if you if you consider you know traditional pain, if you just you know the normal things that would hurt people, I think Michael uh, has an ability to not think about consequences better than I do, and um, yeah, is able to. Like, yeah, and Dick, like you cannot cop a fucking hit to the balls to save your life. Yeah, my testicles are incredibly sensitive and large. I don't have balls, so it just there's nothing. Well, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, you just have a really hard rock. The testicles have sort of fused together. It's like can- a kendo or, or something. Well, yeah, well, it's a cancerous thing. Sort of join them together. I'm pretty sure it's testicular it's cancer. It's benign. Thank you, mate. Yeah, well, it's still his testicle is very hard. It's like a bit of petrified wood. So, of course, you can take nut shots better than I can. You don't really have balls. Next question is from... Always underscore Memut, and he or she has asked, when you guys started uploading comedy videos or what kind of awkwardness you guys are facing? What the fuck did she just say? He said, when you guys started uploading comedy videos or what kind of awkwardness are you guys are facing? Obviously, uh, oh, when a language, did you, he means. A bit of a language barrier there. Uh, so we've been uploading content for what, six years now? Six. Yeah. I'd say five and a, yeah, six. Six years. Um, and yeah. Like telling people the what we were doing. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> We've said awkward. this before. All our family and friends were like, you're fucked. We're like, yeah, we're fucked. For a long time. For a very long time. And now we're, the, we're, we're not almost... We're getting better now. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely getting better. I feel like... We were the best at one point last year. The end of the podcast. But then we had that break and we lost our confidence. Yeah, we lost a lot of things. Yeah. We lost... Um, well, I lost my wallet in Bali. Lost his wallet, so just shit was just fucked. Everything was just all fucked up. Yeah. <clears throat> Next question is from one dot of underscore everything, and he or she has asked, Michael, do you have more hair on your head or your balls? Hair, uh, head. I shaved it like three weeks ago. His balls. So it's only just starting to sprout again. But his ball hair does get quite like it's similar to his similar thickness to his to the hair on his head. His Do you find when you grow your ball hair out and it gets to like a sick length, like when you're just lazy and it's like that and it's all stringy and shit. And from sport and sweat and everyday activities, it like the sweat sticks to the hair and your hair becomes like wire. Yeah, I can't say I've experienced that yet, mate. Okay, I will cut that, Connor. (laughs) (laughs) Connor, leave that in. Yeah, leave it in. (laughs) All right, next question is from Coxie Normus 69 and he or she has asked, at what age did you guys start showing your superior science intellect? Great question. I noticed that we were uh, sort of gifted. uh, Well, I'll speak for myself. I I knew probably year four or five when science sort of started becoming more difficult and and like I was like on the same level as the teacher and I hadn't even like learnt about science yet but I already knew more about science than he did like it's just it's just sort of it's like I was born with a little chest full of science knowledge in my brain and then in year five I just sort of opened the little chest up and then all the knowledge just started sort of trickling out and then just integrated with my brain and then it's just sort of now it's my brain just sits in the uh, science knowledge that was in the little chest and the chest is actually a, a small uh, benign tumour at the base of my skull. So, how about you? <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, I want to lie here because this is going to, like, fans are going to be upset. But I'd say last year, early last year, is when I found out I was a scientist because in school and all of life, I've never... I watch a Joe Rogan podcast with Neil deGrasse, Elon Musk and all those guys on it. But apart from that, I haven't really looked into it. I'd be in biology and then Sophie I'd sit next to. She'd do all my work. Most of the people in my school, I'd befriend and they'd do my work like you. So, okay. So, I'm like a, a shit scientist. I do I do all the stat reports. I just do the simple Michael, shit, Michael, all the data Michael entries. Michael inputs all the data from the experiments into graphs so <laughs> that we can deliver our conclusions at the end of the experiments. That's what Michael's good at. He's good at input data. Right, yeah, yeah. Data input. And I'm, actually, I'm not really that good at that. I'm not really fast with typing. To be stuff. honest, I don't think you've ever done data inputting. Okay, yeah, next question is from Noah Jasek. And he has asked... How much meth must I smoke to become even as half as great as you? Doing this for science. 
for Stephen. The word, don't do meth, well, I reckon. Well, don't. well. You've seen our friends that did it. Yeah, so we've had we've got some meth friends, and they're actually upstairs. But um, yeah, it's not. Look, do it, do it once. Try maybe, it out, maybe twice. I oh, don't, because sometimes it just cooks you yeah. from day dot. Okay, don't. We do did it. it accidentally in Lao. Have we said that story before? Probably. Yeah. Look, we're not going to admit that we did it. We did it for a week. Yeah. I did anyway. I'm nodding. I am nodding my head. But look, meth, meth is like it's dangerous. All right. Sends you mad, man. So. Do it and let us know how you feel. If you do it, don't be one of those dumb fucks that get hooked. The meth isn't what made us great. The, what We were just born great and yeah. we, we just so happened to have done meth. Yeah. So, it's, the, two aren't, the mm. two are just completely separate. But yeah, don't, don't get into meth. Please. <laughs> Please. Hmm. Next question is from Lost underscore In A World. If I finger my own bum and I like it, does that make it gay? Well, no, because girls can finger your ass and that's not gay. Well, we've had a friend recently that went through a little finger in the bum phase and um, re- was really enjoying it. And uh, he was quite open about it until, you know, it's hard not to laugh when, when your friend likes to put it, pop a finger in the bum in the shower. Oh, yeah. Sort of, our laughter sort of uh, made him stop. So, yeah, well, he just said to us that he stopped because he might have been just a bit insecure from it. I reckon he still does it, but he doesn't tell us. Yeah, so a lot of a lot of dudes like the butt shit, and they're straight. Like they love the. Uh, I don't get it. Like I just my asshole just clenches whenever anything goes near it. There's like a fucking spot in there, and you can jizz without even t- touching your dick. You know, Matt wholesome. Mm. That's what they do at wholesome. They milk each other. <laughs> <laughs> they jizz concrete. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, that nah, you know, I don't know, reckon. That's just normal nowadays. Next question <sighs> is from it's underscore Tim OG, and he has asked, "Do you guys care if fans come up to you in public and say good day when you're with family, etc?" <laughs> yeah, sometimes I choose to sexually assault them. <laughs> yeah, so if you do walk up to Michael, just be prepared to, to that he will try and kiss you, and you might see his asshole. But no. Come and say hi. It doesn't matter who we're with. It doesn't matter what we're doing. If Obviously, if we're like crying in the corner somewhere and we're just, you know, full of rage, ripping our hair out and we, we look all fucked and we're dirty and you can tell that we've been doing drugs for a while and, you know, tears down our face and there's blood and torn clothes and shit. But if we don't look like that, then yeah, of course, come up and say hi. But that's, yeah. Yeah, it's sort of more awkward when you walk in and people just go... And yeah, they don't say anything. Just stare at you, and then you just notice them staring at you, and then you're like, "Like, do they not, do they recognize us, or are they just staring at us?" Because it makes of, me do that. I just sort of like that when I just don't. Yeah. They just gotta make it, break the ice. Come and say hello next time, please. Twenty potatoes has said, "If you're Russian to go to the toilet, what are you in the toilet?" You, are you Russian? Like, you must be Russian. If you're Russian to go to the toilet, what are you in the toilet? Um. I'm rushing. He'd probably still be rushing. Either are you were talking about the country Russian. Russian? Russian. Russia? Russian. Oh, right, then I if guess you're Russian to if you're Russian on entry to the toilet, the, you'll be Russian throughout the shit. You'll be Russian. And then if you look at it like rushing is in R U S C C R U S C I G N. Then you're rushing, you're rushing as you're as going, going to, to the, the toilet, toilet and then you're rushing, rushing when you're, you're in the, in the toilet, toilet because shit's, shit's coming, coming out, out of your, your ass. ass. Next question from good teamwork. Saxon McKenzie. And Saxon has said, how are you guys so fucked in the head? More Michael, um, brain damage, a lot of... Um, oh, look, I don't want to go into details, but there's been some horrific things that have happened to Michael. What? Come on. I'm not going to elaborate here right now. It's too personal. But yeah, there have been some disgusting, really <laughs> fucked up things that have happened to Michael that have made him the way he is. I'm it's not really, King George. It's really I didn't get molested. Well, you know, I'm not... Like, it was consensual. Hey, yeah, I know. Look, let's just leave it. I'm not, I don't want to go into details, but yeah, my, look, my, to get to that level of fucked, you have to have been fucked. Oh, yeah. Oh fuck! Now it's all. So I'll, that's all I'm gonna say. 
You have to have been fucked. Henry put... No, not Henry. Fuck, you've jeered in my brain up and fucked. brought me back. Yeah, there it is. And there it is. Look, his brain's just spitting... I thought you were Henry. Spitting electric out the side here <laughs> and he's forgotten where he is because he was fucked that hard. <laughs> His brain stems all... It's barely connected. It's hanging on by a thread. <laughs> because of the j- forcing <laughs> jolts as he was getting <laughs> fucked in doggy. No, no. It was fucking oral. He hit the brain stem from yeah, my mouth. head pushed down and the hair... <laughs> his chin's on his chest. Hair getting pulled back and just thrust into his... Back into his hips and just... Vertebrae just sprouting up here. <laughs> and it just sort of... The brain stems just barely connected. It well, was not that hard. Was, they don't know if it was from doggy or oral. We didn't know that for sure. Could have been either. I reckon it came from internal because then it pushed my like back of my f- fucking neck into the brain stem and then fucked it. I'm fine now though. I fixed. I had surgeries and shit. Everything's fine. Uh, the next question is from Tox One C underscore Wilbur, and he or she is asked, "Why did you guys make the page?" Love you guys. So um, we made the page um, to get that fucking bank cunt. We want to get fucking... Oh, we've ah! said this. Okay. No, no, go on. We want to make people laugh. And that's why. We wanted we wanted a, to build a platform where our fans could watch uh, videos that we make and we put a lot of pride and, pride and effort into our videos and we just we just really want to make people laugh and, and make people happy at the we end of the day. We want to put a smile on your dial. And, you know, if people are going through a hard time in life, we want them to be able to, see, to think... I'm not feeling the best today. I'm going to go on Marty and Michael's page and watch a video. I am feel a little bit better. Even if it's just a little bit, just a smile. Just a smile. That's why we do what we do for free. We do it all for free. We don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars in our bank account. That means nothing. It doesn't matter. Or the only we're thing we're doing, we're, the only reason we do it is, is just to make the world a bit happier. It's just get a laugh out of people. You know what I mean? And it's pretty rad doing what, like waking up when you want. Oh, I guess we have a set time. And no boss. Fuck you, Woolworths manager of Stafford. Not you, Tammy, the higher up dude. Ryan was his name. Fuck you. So much. And there you have it, guys. That is question time. All righty, next segment. Next segment, we got the science. It's science. We got that. Mark mm. is going to sing the science jingle. Three, two, one. Science time. It's science time. Go do a crime. And- <laughs> Let's get the eggs. All right. So for this week's science now, experiment. Science. Let me explain this because I've got the perfect analogy. Okay. This is good. This is a space saver. All right. So you buy eggs from the supermarket. Think about it this way. All right. You want to... And you got a big, like a small fridge and not much space. You want to get rid of, make the eggs as small as possible. So you can make sure you fit everything in your fridge. More room in the fridge, yeah. Yep. So what you do, right, is you take the eggs out. It's a bit of a process. It takes a while, like 12 hours. Worth it. Yeah, yeah. It's fine though. Um, And what you do is you put them in vinegar. And you might need another fridge. Just normal vinegar. So As you well. need to buy a few fridge. other fridges to do this to get that in the other fridge. I oh, see. So you got to go first set. You got to go buy a couple more fridges. Then you buy your normal eggs. Just buy normal eggs and then sit them in vinegar and then in a little bowl and then put those bowls, the eggs in vinegar, in the other fridges. I don't even think you need to put it in the fridge. You, you can leave it out of the fridge, but it's better to have you, spare you fridges. You may as well. You may as well buy a couple more fridges because at the end of the day, one fridge. Come on, we're not we're not cavemen anymore. <laughs> So what happens, right, guys? Ooh, it is in this science so experiment, sick. is the egg loses its shell and somehow, like I don't know, it's like a boiled egg, really. So, so the vinegar it eats through the shell, leaving just the egg, and it looks it's like see through a bit, and it just looks fucking like I want to touch it. Yeah, we'll break it eventually, but not here. Let's do it safely. Oh, it's slimy. It's very slimy. It looks. A bit see-through and the shell is completely gone. And it smells like vinegar. So if you love vinegar and eggs, it's the best. Boom, done. Okay? Maybe a bit of salt on it, a bit of pepper, and you have yourself a breakfast. And then, of course, once they're like this, you can then move them into the main fridge and then you have two empty fridge when you buy more eggs. Yeah. And see, this is the shell. If, you can, if you're watching on fully actual oh. YouTube, 
That's the shell. So the ty- the space saver is oh. there is no longer a shell on this egg. So, so there is like probably I'd say a, a mil, mil or two, a good mil or two that has been taken away off the off the egg now. And now like it's yeah, you got a mil or two. It doesn't sound like a lot, but you buy you buy a dozen eggs. All of a sudden, that one mil is twelve to twenty four mils. And it's like it really I don't know. It feels cool to touch. So, so honestly, like you're saving you're saving about that much. You know about about this. It's economics. Yeah, so Basic and, you know, economics. at the end of the day, like, yeah, you spend money on the other fridges, but you're going to make your money back by saving time. And sometimes space... Saving time. No, space is worth money, I say. That is a business model there, there somewhere. So, like, would you rather have money? Or space. Or space. Or- because if you want more money, eventually you're going to need space to put that money in. Does that make sense, man? Correct. See? That's our reference. Now, we're going to, for the final part of the experiment, because this is fucking cool. Look, it even bounces a bit. Look. Oh, oh my God. It bounces. Normally, if I drop that like that, over. Egg's gone. Now. Oh, it's busted. It's busted. I thought it would do that. And now it's all over the gear. It's all over the gear. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just on the, the little oh, core. It smells like a little vinegar. Fuck. Look at the yeah. skin on it. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, that was <laughs> normally it does that. <laughs> Leave it. It, it looks like it. a condom. It looks like a condom. Okay, so it had a much thinner shell. Okay. But okay, uh, the right. egg has now burst onto the table and there is egg and vinegar everywhere. And now oh. the vinegar is eating through. Oh, fucking hell. I don't want it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is boring now for me. I don't like this life. Cleaning is shit. It's too hard. All right, very. Oh, this yuck. Oh, come on, man. You're being. Um, Kung Lifu. No, let me just... I was being Kung Lifu. That vinegar over there. All right, so to conclude this week's science experiment, vinegar erodes the shell of an egg and it will save you space and therefore money and time. And they're bouncy for a bit or just don't go bouncing them too high. And also, if you want to watch over four hours of unseen content, mm-hmm. subscribe to... Register to our website, university of markael m-a-r-c-h-e-a-l yeah for some reason dot com okay and then you can watch four it's five dollars a month four hours plus we go live you get to speak to us live once a month and um get to know us way better and it's all our gnarly shit that we can't post on facebook see all the fucked up shit that we can't post on social media and trust me there's a lot of it (laughs) quite a lot so, um, yeah, just a cheeky little plug to the website there. We know you podcasters love listening to this fucking... Imagine seeing this fuck... It was fuck crazy. It's crazy. Four hours. That's like as much as Netflix nearly. Two new videos, unseen footage in those videos. What is it? Week. How many hours now? Every week. Over four hours. That's fucked up. That's too much. Oh, yeah. Let's take some down. All right. Oh, All right. Next, yes. we have the uh, PO unboxing segment. And here we have... This week we've got there. We've got. If you've sent us a package ages ago and we haven't opened yet, don't stress. We've still got them all. We're just like spreading them out so that we have a PO unboxing thing to do every single week. Yeah. So keep sending them, and for anyone who's worried, they will be opened eventually. Lindsay from Casino New South Wales has sent this. It's an on envelope. <coughs> I don't thank know if you, we Lindsay. should say their full name, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's probably offensive. No, so, Lindsay, thank you for this, Lindsay. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. I hope it's drugs. Oh, some barn bay beef jerky. Oh. And, um, by the looks of it, it's quite... It's, this product is extremely hot. Consume at own risk. Well, I guess we better eat some. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm actually vegetarian. Oh, I'll have some. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Is your- oh, fuck it. What is this, steak? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Fucking, you have to! <laughs> oh, okay. Well, maybe I won't do it either then. <laughs> that is disgusting. <clears throat> I think I'm the hiccups. Oh, fuck. I, I, yeah, they're not a good idea. Should, should I do it? Yeah, dude, it's fine. <laughs> Just give me a fucking yeah, second. You got this. Collect my thoughts. I'm going to have to swallow it because you didn't. I did. I swallowed like half of it. Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, that is horrific. <laughs> <sighs> what have we done? I was gonna get some water here. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god, dude! It's getting. This is just begun. This is just. Is it just the beginning? Is it getting better yet? Is it getting better? <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I hate this shit. I'm not. Like Who like oh. eats this for fun? How do they make money off this product? Okay, okay. here's a letter from Lindsay. G'day, buddy. You have to be over 18. <sighs> this is like drug, alcohol. Oh my God. I thought you crazy bastards might like to give these a go. Be careful, keep up the good work. Lindsay! <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Oh. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me, dude. That is hot shit. Uh, that is fuck. So basically, you might as well just eat a fucking. A fire. Chili. A, a frozen fire. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Alright, this one's from. Oh, it's so hard to talk. Wayne. Good old Wayne from <sighs> Wakerley, Brisbane. God. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my <gasps> god. Got a little letter here of hers. Let's read the fuck. Oh, no, my man. Oh. So lightheaded. <laughs> it's just begun. It's just <laughs> begun. Yeah, it does not get better. He's written a letter. Dear Marty Michael, I'm going to get through this as quick as I can because my mouth is on fire. fire. My name is Wayne and I've been watching your videos for the past few months and they are hilarious. Yes, they are. I wasn't aware of Marty and Michael fully actual until I saw the link in your 2019 Best Scientific Experiments video. Ow. I saw Ow. the request for stuff. So I thought I'd send this to you as a thank you. I have to come out of the closet to my father, surely. And it's making me anxious. Not sure how her react to me being gay. Watching your pranks and scientific experiments have helped take my mind off it and make me laugh. Oh, the shock pen and watermelon videos especially. Stephen will be proud. I hope you like the gift. Sincerely, Wayne. Wayne, you're Has a legend. advice for you see the gift. You're a legend. Thank you for the gift. And don't worry about your parents. Fuck them. Just do what you got to do. It's your life, not theirs. What's he sent us? Yeah, that's true, Wayne. I back that with my soul. <sighs> My asshole. Finally starting to subside. Lindsay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Little people, big dreams. dreams. Stephen Hawking. It's a fucking book. It's a little children's book <laughs> about Stephen fucking Hawking. Says he wrote it. so right, because he's a little person and he had big dreams. So we're not going to read it now, but just flipping through it. He, he wasn't in a chair as a kid. He it's, wasn't in a chair. It's about his life. Yeah, he only turned like lazy later in his life. Oh, okay. All right, those are the two peon boxes. Thank, thank you very you, Wayne. much, Wayne well, thank, and, Lindsay. and Lindsay. You're a great Not chick so or guy. Not so much there, Lindsay. They're still fucking... I knew. Oh, I forgot that we said we'd <sighs> try anything they sent. Mucus being poured out of my nose holes. Hey, uh, I'm just I think you need this. to save those for a future, a future video. That's... That's tense. <sighs> All right. Thank you so much for the gift. They're just fucking lovely. All right. Now this comes to our final segment. It's been renamed to... <laughs> and it's basically just a prank call that you guys have sent in with a bit of a backstory. So let... <sighs> fucking hiccups, Lindsay. Wait, before we go into it, look at that. What is it? So him as a kid, him as a boy, him as a teenager, and then him, him as, as a, a chair. It's fucking crazy. Uh, yeah, I've seen, I've watched documentaries on him. He's he's a true hero. He's a good bloke. All right, Lachlan McDonald has sent this in via Instagram. He has said he's written the number, and he uh, said he gets super annoyed when unknown numbers call him because he always gets those calls from scammers and their credit card info. When you call him. Make okay. sure you pretend to be a scammer and ask yeah. for his credit card info. He will go nuts. What sort of voice tone are you going to do here? I think I'm going to go Indian. <laughs> so you're saying Indians are scammers? I'm not saying that Indians are scammers. 
<laughs> is this racist? I don't know. No, nah, no, nah, I can't go in here. My ex- accent's too shit. I'm just going to go a um a really timid. At, um, I'm going to talk like this. Uh, talk like this. I don't know what that is. Like Middle Eastern Europe mixed no, with a I, bit I'm of not, Mongolia. I'm, I'm not going to label it. I don't know what this accent is. Therefore, it cannot be racist. Because in my mind, I'm not even picturing a race when I'm doing this. I'm just altering my voice slightly. So the person on the phone thinks it's fucking like some foreign person. Okay? So just calm down. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. So like that covers our ass hard. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the hiccups are going. Like, oh man, I can't stop sniffing from it. Hello. Oh, hello. How you going today? My name is Paula. I was just um, wondering if you have spare five minutes. Oh, okay. Just a call regarding uh, your banking. Who who are you uh, banking with at the moment, sir? Uh, well, I'm with the Bank of Queensland, but may I ask who this is? Yeah, so my name is uh, Rashida Paul, and I'm uh, from a Commonwealth uh, Bank in Australia. And uh, but and uh, we call we call people uh, uh, from Bank of Queensland, other banks like that. We uh, offer a premium bank service, okay. But first, uh, we must uh, close down your other bank details, a bank account. It'll only take five minutes, and then we can co- get your Commonwealth Bank bank account. Much better, um, much better for you. But first, I need first I need all the bank account details. Okay, uh, so Bank of Queensland. Uh, where, what is your what, what is your full full name? My full name is Alex Tap. Alex Tap. Okay, Mister Tap. So uh, first of all, uh, your old what uh, what sort of a bank account do you have uh, with uh, Bank of Queensland? Well, why do you want my bank account details? Well, first, sir, we need to know your current bank account details to uh, close them. And then uh, we can go ahead and open the new bank account. And I promise it, um, it's a much better. It's a much better bank account. Well, I feel like this is a fucking scam. Uh, I get constant calls from you guys. From, you called from Commonwealth Bank before? And I recognize your voice from somewhere. On, um, like, do you scam people on your regular regular day basis uh, so i'm just trying to do my job uh, i just call people every day for just do my job uh, and uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Scam. in 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 the system it's a uh, commonwealth has not called you before so, uh, so maybe know? someone else maybe someone else call you and try scam you but um no we i'm well, stupid because you, you you call me every time on different numbers and i get fucking pissed and every time you call me Oh, it's so annoying. Sir, c- calm down. I'm, sir, I, I apologize for the inconvenience, but you did say you have a f- few minutes at the beginning of the call. I just, I would wait, just... Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. You don't even sound like an Indian. I am not Indian, sir. I'm I'm not from India. I will not disclose where my culture or where I'm from. I, I do not wait, need... Wait, wait, wait. Holy shit. I think I, I know you. Wait, wait. Is this some um, What's that person's name that from Australia that like does the pranks? Jackson? John Jason? Jackson? Jackson O'Doherty? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes! It's Jackson O'Doherty here, man. Wait, no, this is Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Marty, is this actually you? Damn it! <laughs> We've been discovered! <laughs> Oh, I was so close to getting these fucking bank details. <laughs> yeah, it's a prank call, mate. You... Uh, your mate, um, what was it? Lachlan McDonald sent it in. Yeah, yeah. You got... Oh, here's my school. I'm going to fuck him up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, it's crazy. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, we appreciate that. Um, we didn't... It Prankle didn't really work, but um, we nearly <laughs> fucking still pretty gotcha. good. We he nearly... was so cross at one point. Yeah. You were um, quite cranky. Like, why did you prankle me? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Just because just because your um, your mate sent the, sent the number in. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. But um, anyway, mate, thanks for the chat. And, um, yeah, this is going to be on next week's podcast. It sure is, my friend. So tell all your uncles Wait, about it. Where can I watch it? Where can I watch on it? On YouTube. Marty and Michael fully actual on YouTube next Monday at 5 p.m. Hold up. Let me just subscribe to you. Yeah. Mm. Marty yeah. And That's my boy. Until, until everyone at your school 
during school assembly, I want you to rush up on Force stage. Force it on him. Force it. Rush up on stage and say, everyone subscribe to Marty and Michael, fully actual. Try and get expelled. <laughs> Yep, oh. and if you if you can do that and film it and send it to us, we'll give you a shout out on Instagram. Sure. Okay. Definitely. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, dude. We have a fucking lovely Monday night, and we'll see you later. We'll see you in hell, dude. Good luck with the, with your little mission, and we'll bloody chat to you later. All right. And just send those bank soon. details through soon, eh? DM those bank details. All right, mate. We'll chat to you soon. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. See ya. Man, he sounded... Uh, he's what do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, good? All right. All right, so all of those prank calls people have sent in, um, we, we're just, we've just we got like another nine. So if your your prank call wasn't the one that we did this week, we'll, we'll try again it. next week. But if we call the number and they don't answer, we're just going to have to disregard it and move on. Okay, this is what the prank calls are going to be like from now on. Yeah, next- so if you are watching now... Just send through shit to our Instagram. Yeah, send through like send. We want like some backstories. Awesome, yeah, like a backstory, like some and and the phone number. And it helps if they're Australian because of the time zones, right? And and we can call America, but like it's night time there at the moment, so they very rarely answer. So unless they're into aliens, Australian specifically, and also don't forget to please register to our website. It has got all the best shit in the world on it, and eventually will be where we post. Most of our good shit. Yeah, because now what? Let's just well, Facebook and YouTube. Facebook has stopped paying us. So support, do that, and it's five bucks free, basically free. Five bucks a month, four hours of shit, right? Fucking, it's a coffee. Yeah, no, he's drinking coffee. Up, you well, that's the end of fucking episode number three. And don't forget, we're progressing. We're progressing. We're we're small s- steps, small incremental improvements, small incremental improvements, small, small incremental, incremental improvements, improvements, small, small incremental improvements. improvements.